What's going on everybody? This is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. And today it's time to take a look at our week ahead to see what energies lie in store for this week. Now I've shuffled up the cards and I've laid out the cards. And I'm just going to get into it, tell you what I'm seeing because I'm hoping to maybe do a little bit more cards at the end of this, maybe do another spread. Because I don't like what I'm looking at. This is a uh, this is a little challenging, I think, this week. So let's see what we got. First card out is on the political. What are we going to be seeing this week, politically speaking? Well, it's kind of interesting. I've got this card here. This is the hanged man, the suspended person in this deck. But that's a card of self-sacrifice, having to give up something to gain something better. And it's crossed by this obstacle card is the Eight of Pentacles, card of putting things to work, putting a plan in action and actually working on something. Now, putting those two cards together with the suspended person, giving up something to gain something. But I've got this card as, as I'm looking at the artwork, this person's upside down, underwater, um, got a kind of a kind of a halo around the head there. And the ankle tied and the hand tied behind the back. This card next to it is actually, the, his face is actually looking down, kind of scowling and scorn with scorn at the other person. And his hands are clenched on those pentacles, which represent things of value. So what I was sensing initially is that something is going to be pushed through politically or being tried to be pushed through. And it's like we're trying to force something through the other side or the opposing side, their hands are tied. It's like they don't, they, they, this card is actually a major arcana. It carries more weight in the deck. To me, this representing the side with more, more power, because this is just an eight. There's, it doesn't have the major arcana behind it. And so what I'm sensing is this, this, even though this picture and the person represented is upside down with his hands tied behind his back in kind of a vulnerable position, this eight is like scowling and like looking, I'm looking at the two cards and the energy of this eight is like, I've got the goods and I'm controlling this situation and your hands are tied. But the other person side that's hands are tied actually has the power if they would but claim it. But there's some reason why that energy is obscured. It's like we're allowing something to happen. We're allowing this we're allowing ourselves to be in this vulnerable position. And I don't know if it's if it's a strategic thing that they have to let something happen or have to let something go through politically. I don't know if if there's something behind the scenes and maybe I'll get some more clarity on this as we go. But that's the imagery I'm getting right now is that there's going to be something pushed through politically that's going to cause upheaval. It's going to cause a lot of resistance. And the people that should be standing up and doing something are going to be like their hands are tied. Now, societal, we have this card waiting, the nine of wands. And this card is facing right back into this situation, watching this dynamic between the two or the pol political realm. And it's watching the dynamic playing out there and feeling helpless and not really knowing what to do. Kind of like we're waiting to see what, what unfolds from this political drama going on. And, um, the next card um, crossing society is the Two of Cups. It feels like this drama going on politically is putting stress or strain on families, on society in general, relationship. 
this is this is the crossing card with this card but this card is facing back toward this other thing and generally this is a nice card of partnerships friendships family togetherness and with this being an obstacle i think i think the political is going to be really messing with people's sense of security this week or they're just their sense of peace there could be some things going on that's going to cause some stress or strain. That's what I'm getting. All right. Number five. Um, what will we face this week? Now, this is a card of taking action. We've got the Knight of Wands. And this person dressed up all in their armor. And they've got that plant kind of covering them. It feels like a lot of self-protection or protection going on having to make a difficult choice but there is energy on needing to make a choice and move out and take action and it could be related to something possibly in the news because what we have coming out in the news is the tower card now, the Tower card is not a nice card. It's about upheaval, things falling apart, major change, sometimes catastrophic, just depends on what the nature of the change is and people's reaction to it. You know, we all can make our choices as to how we react to something. But having the Tower in the news there could be some, some real upheaval, perhaps worldwide, and something to do with taking action or needing to armor up, get ready for battle, I'm seeing. And maybe that battle, that he's this is a warrior and he's facing right into the tower. And I'm wondering, if there's some type of troop movement, um, if it's literal troops, something that is responding to a type of cataclysm or catastrophe or upheaval, could be regional upheaval. What gives us hope this week, and we have the high priest on that, nice to see a major arcana coming out with a strong card the high priest representing wisdom, accountability, and having him facing away from the tower is kind of nice. Because it seems like there's perhaps some wisdom that he has regarding whatever this tower is representing this week that's going to be in the news. There's some wisdom to be seen beyond looking at just the immediate crisis of whatever this situation turns out to be. This high priest is looking beyond it. And maybe he's seeing what the real cause is or what the real purpose is or what the real problem is. Sometimes if you don't address the problem, you don't know how to come up with the solution. And the high priest has wisdom with him. And he's not looking at the scenarios playing out this week. He's more interested in seeing it from a higher perspective. The overall outcome for this week is the Eight of Cups, which is a card of sad change and having to move on from a difficult situation. So that's what I meant by kind of challenging cards this week with the tower coming out and the outcome card being kind of a having to deal with a sad situation. So I want to take a look at what else we have and see if there's anything that might give us a little more hope this week. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran out of time last night and thought I'll come back to this in the morning and finish this up. I want to take a look at some more cards just to see if there's anything 
else that comes through um because it kind of felt like it was kind of a tough week this week and i was i was hoping to see if maybe i could maybe there's something else that would give us some hope in addition to having to contend with some difficult energies this week so i wrote up a new spread i'm just going to take a look at it real quick and see what else is in store for this week Okay, so as I look at the cards, I first card out is the Five of Swords. This is on the political realm. Having been in a battle, taking the spoils of war, and you can see a little bit in the background, a little bit of some pain and suffering in the background with those that are left on the battlefield, kind of reeling from what just happened. And it feels like one side is taking over and winning. I get the sense that it, it almost feels as though someone's going to get away with something or they're like the battle is coming to a close and they're taking the spoils of war but it feels it feels like they're getting away with something. They're getting away with it. That's what I'm feeling. So it's going to feel like someone's getting away with something in the political realm, taking the spoils of war, and like the other side is their hands are tied and they don't have the resources to fight back. That's how it's going to seem. On top of this, for society, we have a sad card of change. This is unwanted change. And it may have to do with the political landscape changing. Now, I have a feeling that this is going to feel or look somewhat hopeless. It's going to feel like there's this unwanted change and the bad guys are winning. It's going to be how it feels. But we have something coming in the news. And this is the Ace of Swords. And as I'm looking at that with the white dove and the broken chain below and the dark clouds kind of dissipating and the light coming through, I'm wondering if there's going to be some type of announcement coming, perhaps on social media, but look for some type of announcement. So just when it feels like all is lost and people may start to despair or feel like there's they're just going to give up there's some announcement i think that's around the corner or that's coming and i'm focused in on this sword being unsheathed and the chains being broken so i think there's something coming that's going to at least maybe bring back some hope or give people some hope that that the unwanted change is going to be stopped or that they won't have to face with face too much of the unwanted change. Now the underlying influence for all of this is the Empress card, a powerful feminine energy of care and love and concern. And she's coming in, she's bringing a healing a wholeness aspect you know with this with this ace of swords and the sky and the white dove and then this angelic figure looking with this empress I I'm wondering if there's some type of divine intervention or some type of cosmic shift or change so what we need to know we have the death card card of powerful transformational change and I'm seeing this death card and this phantom reaper figure coming kind of like a wispy coming into the foreground with that horse out front and yet I get a feeling like it like it's a vapor like it comes in and then it's it does its thing and then it leaves so this transformational change, I think, is coming in. It will make its mark, but then it will just as quickly be extinguished, I feel like. 
On the future card, we have the two of pentacles. This is weighing your options, making a choice, having a decision to make. And there's a bit of a storm going on behind him. But there's the rainbow in between the decisions that he's weighing in each hand. There's a prism. It's like collecting the energy of the storm behind him and transmuting it into something better. Coming through the storm. I don't feel like this death card is going to be a lasting thing. And again, it's transformational change. It's not going to last. And perhaps that's that first card out in the political realm with it looking like this person taking all the spoils of war and these in the background are left reeling and society feeling like this unwanted change is upon them. The death card is sitting underneath those two and the way I had them spread out. And to me it's like this phantom coming in and making this situation temporarily worse perhaps. But it feels like it's shifting back because we have the Ace of Swords and the Empress on the other side. It's like a cosmic war going on. And then this is like choosing, making the choice between the dark and the light and this rainbow appearing. It's like not all hope is lost and the choices people have are going to be it's like you, you have a choice. It's not going to be just everything falling apart into darkness. It might look that way, but that I think is an illusion, okay? We've got the Seven of Cups coming out on the outcome. This is a card of, boy, lots of choices. And again, I'm getting that choice coming in to, there's a lot of work to be done, a lot of choices to be made, and sometimes this can feel overwhelming when there's too much going on, too many choices to make. It can feel like, where do I start? Or you can feel like you're alone. We have the fool underneath all of this. The fool. I think we're embarking on a new journey, a new adventure, a new timeline, a new something. And it's going to take I think it's going to take some help, maybe from beyond, that will help help humanity break those chains. But look for an announcement that might be move, wanting to move us into a new direction and away from this kind of dark energy that's bombarding the human race right now with that death and that that fighting and that feeling like things are over, like there's no hope. There are some good cards coming out on this with that ace and the empress and the fool even. And I do feel like that death card is, is not permanent, okay? That, that energy of changing things and transforming, it's like it's transient. It comes in, it does its thing, and it leaves. That's what I'm feeling with it. So just know that any appearances this week of the dark side winning or that people are having their lights extinguished. I'm kind of looking to this battlefield in the back, and there's little fires lit and people are you know it's a scene of of fighting and death but even in that it feels like there's like that's not the truth it's not the true story i do think we have some choices to make coming up and it's not all bad actually Looking at this card, 
there's some nice choices in there. There's that beautiful rose. There's a flock of doves there. A beautiful castle, angel wings. There's choices. And it's not all going to be dark gloom. <laughs> so take comfort in that. I do think this week's going to be challenging and it's going to have the appearance that things are not in a good space. But I think that's about to change. And perhaps a message coming through will start to shed light on what that change is going to look like. So hold on to your hats, everybody. It could get interesting this week. That's all I have for our week ahead. If you liked it, leave a like. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.